Hey y'all, you got Doug Gore, Dougie Doo here with Cajun Soft Wash. We're going to talk about the product that we use to clean roofs. So first of all, we're going to talk about what is it. We're going to talk about uh, does it damage a roof. And we're going to talk about kind of the old argument um, that's gone on online as far as, uh, uh, you know, how quickly does it degrade. So the first thing I'm going to do is talk about what is it that we use. And for those of you out there in the industry um, that, that uh Please bear in mind that there's homeowners and stuff that watch this, so I'm going to kind of explain a little bit about it that, that also helps the homeowner understand. So first, what we use to clean a roof is sodium hypochlorite. Sodium hypochlorite is bleach. So when you look at a bottle of Clorox, which is bleach, you're going to see that it says sodium hypochlorite. Okay? Everything depends on the value or the um, strength of that sodium hypochlorite. So that's what I'm going to try to get into explaining a little bit as well and how I explain it to clients. So first and foremost, again, sodium hypochlorite is what we use. The common name of it is bleach. The technical term of it is sodium hypochlorite. It comes in different strengths. So like how I like to explain it is if you go to the store and you buy a gallon of milk, what what are you buying okay so on one end of the scale you've got your skim milk it's like a really watery milk substance okay and i purpose or me i, I don't even see the purpose of skim milk i just don't get it um, but it's a really watery um doesn't have any bite to it substance okay that's clorox right that's that's the bottom of the scale then if you tip the scale the other direction, you've got your heavy creams, your coffee creamers, that kind of a thing. That's going to be your industrial strength bleach, okay? your industrial strength uh, sodium hypochlorite. Then you have what we use in the industry, um, which our company uses 12.5% sodium hypochlorite. There's uh, a lot of companies use 10 to 12.5%, um, somewhere right in that neighborhood. So. Um, I like to call what, what our company uses, which is 12.5%, that's your whole milk, okay? That's a good, strong milk, but it's not way down at that heavy creams, and it's not down at the, the no-name Clorox uh, level. And then the other uh, areas that use the 10%, I like to call that the 2% milk kind of a thing. So that's kind of how I like to, to describe sodium hypochlorite bleach in the levels of milk, because I think that helps understand one is really, really watery, doesn't do much, doesn't have any bite. The other is a really thick, heavy cream, okay? So 12.5%, which is what we use. Um, we'll get into a little bit about how quickly that can degrade uh, here in the end of this. Um, so now that we understand kind of the levels of sodium hypochlorite, let's, let's ask the question of, does it damage your roof? Does it damage the client's roof? Okay, this is, this is coming from a question that was asked to me the other day is, you know, about that. So let's understand something, especially for us out there in the industry. ARMA, which is the Asphalt Roofing Manufacturers Association, what do they recommend? What's their recommended process for cleaning a roof? Okay, they do not recommend pressure at all. So anybody running a surface cleaner saying 300 PSI up and down that roof, you're damaging the shingles and you're going against the manufacturer's recommendations. They say don't use any high pressure. You can call it 300 PSI and say that's not high pressure, but 300 PSI directly on the roof, that's high pressure. That's, that's you know, hurricane, that's over hurricane force winds, okay? So tornado winds, whatever. Um, so I'm, I, you know, pressure washers on the roof are a no-no, okay? So will sodium hypochlorite bleach damage the roof? Well, ARMA recommends using bleach, okay? Most shingle manufacturers recommend what to clean the roof? They recommend bleach, okay? Sodium hypochlorite, that is what they recommend to clean the shingles, okay? So I know the arguments that are gonna go on and say, yeah, but they're wrong, they're this, they're... no, wait a minute. If the shingle manufacturers and ARMA are saying, use this product to clean our, our shingles that we are giving a warranty on for 25, 30, 35, 40, 50 years, right? They're telling you to use that product. If it's going to damage your roof, they are not going to recommend that you use that product. It's just life. They're not going to recommend that you use a product that's going to damage their product. Okay, so that's, that's that. The next thing is I've heard, does it uh, cause the nails to rust? Okay. No, it doesn't. The reason that it doesn't is if you have exposed nails, the roof was installed incorrectly. 
Now there are a few variables on that where there might be some exposed nails here and there, but for the most part, you shouldn't have exposed nails on a roof surface anyhow, okay? So no, it's not gonna cause the, the nails to rust because they don't, the nail never comes in contact with the sodium hypochlorite. Now, can, the, can sodium hypochlorite bleach damage anything else on the roof? It certainly can. So first of all, you've got, uh, like let's say lead vents, for example. Um, lead vents quickly tarnish and become brown, right? Uh, most of our clients actually prefer that, so um, we don't cover them. If they don't want, we try to cover them if they do want them covered. Um, but the bottoms can be, so they're going to tarnish and become brown. Um, the other thing is, is maybe if you've got some fresher copper or whatever, and we hit it with a hot mix on a hot sunny day, that copper should probably be pretty wet before, it's, before anything gets on it kind of a thing. Um, so those, there are things that can be damaged by the hot mix, but the roofing itself will not. And that's why using a good professional company that knows what can be damaged and what won't be damaged is, is the best way to go. So now for us out there in the industry, there's been arguments before about how quickly does sodium hypochlorite degrade, okay? Um, so the story that I have for you today is that we ordered 800 gallons of sodium hypochlorite, 12.5%, from a reputable company, um, Univar. So this 800 gallons comes in, we load it onto the trucks, the guys go out to spray, they call me up and they say, hey boss, this stuff isn't working, right? The next day I go out and I try it on a roof. And I used to shoot 10% you know, back when we started. And this was working worse than 10%. And we just got the shipment in. Came in two different batches, two different lot numbers, okay? So I called up the manufacturer, said, hey, got a problem. And they're, they're, they're like, okay, Univar, good company. They're, they're, they're taking care of it, but they tested it, okay? So part of the point here is that Univar keeps their barrels inside of a warehouse, okay? These two different lot numbers, one lot number was 27 days old, the other lot number was 28 days old. The certificate that we received said that they were over 12.5% when they were made, okay? 27 and 28 days later, they're tested out at 9.1% and 9%. The barrels that were at, nine, that were at 27 days were at 9.1%, the other barrels that were 28 days were 9%. So that's a 1% difference in, in, in a, basically in a one-day period, okay? So basically, they lost over 3.5% in less than a month. And these are kept inside. They're inside a warehouse. It's still hot. So out in the sun, they're going to degrade a lot faster. You know, um, the, and another point here is that there were black barrels, there were blue barrels, and there were, there were opaque barrels, and they were all the same, okay? They all degraded that quickly. Not that every lot is going to degrade that fast, but the temperatures in your area, the, um, you know, up north, the elevations, all of these kinds of things can affect how quickly your sodium hypochlorite degrades. You've got to keep all of that in mind. We keep it inside the warehouse. We try to keep the warehouse fairly cool. Um, it's hot in here right now, but... Uh, my point to this is that sodium hypochlorite can degrade very, very quickly, and that is proof that that can happen. I know I hear guys saying, hey, we had a drum for seven months and, and you know, it was just as hot as the day it came out. No, it wasn't, okay? Yes, if it's cold and there are certain things to keep it that way, sure, that's great. Um, but the odds are it has degraded and it can degrade very, very rapidly. So anyhow, um, that's my rant for the day. I appreciate y'all for listening to me. And uh, if you got any questions, give me a holler, Dougie Do with Cajun Soft Wash. I'm out of here. Thank you.